and you're watching Simulink tutorial. Today we are going to discuss something but before that I have a question for you. Have you ever come across a case where you have to detect a change in the signal? Probably yes but to be specific I'm not talking about float signals but more of integer or enumeration more of discrete signal where the value of signal changes in fixed integer values. So if you want to implement that logic, how would you implement it? There are two ways, straight flow as well as simulink. Which one to use? I hope by now you understand the difference between the two and which one to use when. So one for mathematical equation, the other for event driven logic. So recall and map it all by yourself. So if you want to implement it using simulink, it is pretty straightforward how to do it i'll show you at the end of this video till then we will discuss how to implement it using straight flow by the way you can pause this video and implement that simple simulink logic and in the comment section below let me know whether you guessed it correctly and if it is different than mine then i'll use that logic in my next implementations so that's a lot of intro without further ado let's start with today's video now let's assume that I have this input signal which changes from off to on, on to off and this on value will be for very short period and not for very large duration. So once it goes to on it will immediately fall down to off value. So I want to design a logic where signal changes from off to on. In that case I want my output to be changed. So what will be the output state? So by default it will be no LED but once the change is detected in the input signal it will go to output equal to LED1. In case it detects the change again then it will go to LED2 and if it detects change again then it will go to no LED. So it will be like a complete circle no LED, LED1, LED2 and then again back to no LED and so on. So now I want to implement this logic using chart. So let's go to MATLAB. So I have defined an NM class here for input as well as output. So class for input is SWT that is switch. So this is the format how you define enumeration in MATLAB. So class def, class name then simulink dot int enum type so the data type of the enumeration will be integer then enumeration and then the values that is off on and the numerical value for them that is 0 and 1 and then you end the enumeration and definition similarly for led the class name is led again integer enumeration and the states are no LED, LED1, LED2 and you end the definition. So the respective values are also given. So in case in future if you want to define enumeration this is the format how you can define them. Now let's design the logic using chart. So I have this model and in this subsystem the logic is already there for simulink which I'll show you at the end of this video. So we'll implement the logic now for straight flow type chart in white space. Go to model explorer add input name of the input is in scope is input and now we want to change the data type because it's an enum so enum and the class name is equal to swt that is switch apply change then add output scope out data type enum and it is 
LED. Apply change. Close the model explorer. And now we will implement the logic. So this is default state where on entry I want output to be equal to no LED. So LED dot no LED. I hope I'm writing the correct. So out equal to LED dot no LED. Now in state LED one state on entry I want output equal to LED dot LED one. Then state LED two. and output equal to LED2. Now we have defined states and their entry actions and now we want transitions with which this logic should work. So transition from default to LED1, LED1 to LED2 and LED2 to default so we want to detect the change in the input signal from off to on so how will you do that so if you search in the documentation of matlab for change detection you will come across something like has changed to has changed from so these are the functions in state flow which you can use for change detection so i'm going to use those so has Make sure the H is small, changed, C capital, 2, has changed to, in bracket, what is changed, that is input, has changed to, to a value, that is from off to on, so it is changed to a value on. So is wt dot on and I need this condition with all transitions. Now let's go one level up. Connect the input connect the output to the scope we'll go to signal builder and i have drawn this input signal already going from 0 to 1 1 to 0 if i go to configuration parameter you can see here that solver options are fixed tape and this should be discrete the tape size is 10 milliseconds. Okay. Save. And I have added this data type conversion blocks to avoid propagation of data type double. So the output of the signal builder block is with data type double. So it is converted to int 32 and then it is converted to the enum that is switch and then it is passed. So if I simulate this logic, you can see here that with every transition from off to on, on input, the output is changing from no LED to LED1, then LED1 to LED2, and then back to no LED, and it goes on. And 
the output of the simulink logic is also same. So I hope it is clear to you how to use change detection in state flow. If I just type here change detection you will come across this documentation if I just scroll down you will see here there are three different functions has changed from has changed to and has changed so which one to use when you will know with the usage and simulation so try practicing these functions so you will know how to use them now if i go back to this logic so this is very simple just function name input signal name and the value to which it is changed so let's go to the simulink logic now if you look at the logic it looks quite complicated but it's not that complicated so let's see what i have done here so i'm comparing the input signal so I'm checking if the current input value is equal to on and also checking the previous value of the input is equal to off. So off to on, on transition and I want both the conditions to be true. So this and and the output of this logical operator will be boolean. I have added this data type conversion block to convert the output from boolean to integer so false will be converted to 0 true will be converted to 1 and now this is just a small counter to keep the track of states so initially this value will be 0 unit delay value will be 0 is 0 greater than 2 no so this will pass 0 to the output so my output will be 0 and now there is one more conversion block which will convert to the enum so the LED so the final output 0 will be converted to no LED value now next time when there is rising edge this will be 1 this will be 1 and this will be 0 so 0 plus 1 1 is this greater than 2 no then this will pass 1 converted to enum then this will be led 1 similarly for led 2 this will be 2 2 is greater than 2 no then this will be the output will be 2 hence led 2 now again with the next detection this value will be 3 so 3 greater than 2 yes so it will pass 0 converted to no LED and it will go on. So this is how replicated in here but this looks very simple whereas this is quite complicated but at first glance so both the logics work both give me the same output so that's how the change detection function in the state flow works and this is how you can implement your logic so that's all for this video i have one more thing to tell you guys that i receive emails from you regarding if i can provide any support or help for your implementations but i'm sorry to inform you that i cannot provide any extra support for your implementations because i'm usually busy with my work during weekdays and on weekends i usually avoid these technical things so i'm really sorry so i just hope that you get enough information from the videos that i create so I hope you understand. So yes, that's all from my side today. So we'll see you in my next video. Till then, keep watching and keep learning.